Fox News visibly and brazenly continues to lie about the Twitter bombshell Twitter files, which flopped softer than a wet noodle. Um, this one is going to be I, I know that this isn't going to work as well for people just listening today because there's a visual component here. Play along for a moment and then I'll explain it all to you. I'm going to play a clip for you of Ted Cruz, Cancun Cruz, a senator from Texas, appearing on Fox News. This was uh, yesterday to talk about the Twitter files. And if you're watching, keep an eye on the screen. And see if you can identify something weird on the screen. Let's listen, and then we are going to discuss. Look, Jesse, what, what Elon Musk has released is evidence of corruption that goes to the highest level of government, it goes to the highest level of the FBI, and it goes to the highest level of big tech. We've known for a long time that big tech is censoring conservatives, but what Elon did here is he just laid naked all of the lies that the corporate media has told, because it's clear during the 2020 election over and over and over again, the Biden, the Biden campaign and the DNC would reach out to their buddies at Twitter and say, hey, we don't like this. And their response is handled and they take it down over and over and over again. And in particular, all of the exchange back and forth when the Hunter Biden laptop story broke, hmm. it was evidence that the leadership at Twitter knew within hours that, th that their ridiculous fake excuse that it was hacked was a ridiculous fake excuse. E wow. I mean, it's, I don't know that there's anything true in what Ted Cruz is saying, but let me call your attention to a couple of different things. At the start of the segment, the title at the bottom of the screen that Fox puts up says Biden White House had direct line to Twitter censors. OK, what Biden White House, what Biden White House? This all took place in 2020 when Joe Biden was not the president of the United States. There was no Biden White House. Now, you want to write this off as some kind of technicality because it's really not. There is no such entity as the Biden White House unless you believe in some kind of strange time travel that Democrats had access to in 2020. Also, direct line. They had an email address. They had an email address. And as I've said before, if you want to make the case that a political campaign, not an administration, that a political campaign, the Biden campaign, should have had to use the same system I have to use, right? Like, you know, on Twitter, we're on Twitter right now. If I don't like a tweet, I have to click the little thing and then report tweet, right? And I got to fill out a form and do a whole different thing. If you want to make the case that they should have had to do that rather than emailing someone at Twitter when revenge porn of Hunter Biden was posted, I'm glad to have that conversation with you. Maybe that's true. Maybe they should have to do the same thing I have to do rather than email someone. But that's not really a bombshell. That's a little issue around the edges. The main story here is not really a story. This was about content, nude images of Hunter Biden that he didn't release that violates Twitter's guidelines about revenge porn. It's content that was illegal in just about every state in the United States, and I believe against federal law as well, although I'd have to ref refresh my memory on that front back from the start of the Hunter Biden story. Um, and and the entire story, Biden White House didn't exist direct line. It was an email address. This exposes corruption at the highest levels. Not really. Maybe they should have had to use the report tweet function rather than an email. It flopped. And again, I don't know if Ted Cruz knows it flopped, but is lying or doesn't realize that it flopped. Ted Cruz is smart enough to probably realize that. So I would lean on he's being dishonest rather than ignorant. But with Ted Cruz, you never really know. 